two, one, zero. The impetus for this project really came from uh, a grant that we got from uh, Progress Energy. Uh, they gave us some uh, money. They were really interested in coming up with an exhibit for a courtyard that involved uh, renewable solar energy. And my name is Chris Alexander. I'm the exhibit manager here at Marvel's Kids Museum. From there, we went uh, internally and discussed about options, and we knew enough that uh, we didn't know enough about solar. So. The key to us was getting good partners. David Boynton, Southern Energy Manager. We wanted a, an exhibit the kids could interact with. Uh, touch it, feel it, see direct results of their interaction with the display. It soon became self-evident. We're in the garden. It's a solar-powered exhibit, and you know the natural fit was to come up with some kind of flower. I'm Christian Carco. I'm a public artist. I work with Clearscapes. We came up with this kind of groovy, kinky little flower uh, that didn't look like, say, a machine that had solar panels on it, but looked like a flower that reacts to sun. It all just made sense, and there were some initial sketches uh, by Marbles, and um, they made, they were, they were cool. And so, as an artist and as a designer, I came in and just kind of helped make that happen. At first design, we were thinking of uh, maybe 12 inch in diameter, metal flower head that might weigh a pound. Uh, at our first mission meeting with Christian, he offered, uh, could we spin a flower head that maybe weighed 60 pounds and was 8 feet in diameter? <laughs> it changed the scope of the project a little bit. So It's hard making public art that, that sometimes. It, this is both outside, it's kinetic, it's solar, it's electrical, it's interactive, it's got to be cool. That's, that's a, that's, any one of those is hard enough. So uh, we, we got it all in this but this was really a smooth uh, transition from the schematic to the design phase to the prototyping and implementation. For our demonstration, for the, the test uh, of this, we, we met at the shop and we mocked up. They brought a, a piece of fiberboard. Uh, we mounted it to the motor. We connected all the solar panels. We wanted to test a couple things. A, would the solar panels be able to power uh, the motor? achieve the initial inertia to get this 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 mass rotating. Holy cow! Uh, and then secondarily we wanted to test the cause and effect uh, capabilities of the demonstration project so then we, we went through and, and rotated the solar panels out in the parking lot to see what the effects on the, on the rotation of the motor would be and again we're pretty gratified to see that there was a, a market difference. Oh the kids love it. Um, the parents are really getting involved, uh, kind of explaining. The, we have some signage out there that helps the parents kind of explain what's going on with the transfer, you know, of solar energy to the motor, making the power of uh, the pedal spin. The kids really just love just pushing it around and seeing if they can change the speed of the flower. This is where art and design somehow make a diverge. Where art is all about me and what I'm making. As a design. Um, this exhibit was a collaboration of a lot of ideas and a lot of inputs. And so each of us had uh, some skin in the game, uh, and I believe we hit that goal. It's cool, it works, kids think it's cool, it, the, the message it's conveying about, about solar, I think there it is. Sun can be cool. I really enjoyed being part of this process, the creative process meeting some new trade folks at the Triangle that Southern Energy Management can partner with to help us put our vision to reality. I want to do another one. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, come on down to Marvel's Kids Museum and check out the powerful time. It's cool.